So we know from Green's theorem that we, we can use Green's theorem to evaluate the uh, path integral around the boundary of a region and compute the area of that region, right? The area and the, and the boundary path are closely related. And the same is true for solid regions in three-dimensional space. And we're going to show that in this case. So suppose we have this vector field. We're given this vector field, x, y, z. Um, sometimes you might be asked to find a vector field like this. But a vector field x, y, z, very simple one. And we want to show that in terms of this vector field, the volume of the region E, the three-dimensional region E, can be computed by computing the flux of this vector field across this boundary of the surface, okay, across the boundary surface of, of the solid region. So um, it shouldn't be a surprise that we want to use the di di divergence theorem here, and we we're actually told to use it in some sense, right? It satisfies the hypotheses of the divergence theorem. So let's go ahead and do it the first thing we should do is compute the divergence of f, right? So the divergence of f, remember, is the sums of the component partial derivatives here. So it's dx dx plus dy dy plus dz dz. And of course, each one of these derivatives is 1. And so this adds up to 3. And so we can take the triple integral over our solid region, whatever that solid region is, of the divergence of this vector field f and integrate it up, right? And this ends up being the triple integral over e of 3 dv. Of course, the 3 can come out and this triple integral is just the volume. So this is 3 times the volume of e. So on one hand, we take the divergence of the given vector field, we integrate it, we actually you know, compute. We don't know what the region is, so we can't compute this number, but we know that whatever that number is, it represents the volume of E, right? On the other hand, the divergence theorem applies, and we can actually do it, right? So the, the divergence theorem says, so the divergence theorem says what? It says that the triple integral over the region E of the divergence of F dV, this is just equal to the flux around the boundary. Right, so the flux, remember, is just written as f dot ds, where the s is a bold s because this, this is a, a projection, right? Which, remember, if we want to compute this, we're not going to compute it here. But if we're going to compute this, then this is always computed as f dot n ds in the surface integral. So it's a projection onto the outward pointing normal vector, right? So, but look what we have. So on one hand, we know that the divergence of our vector field, if we integrate up the divergence, we get three times the volume of our region. On the other hand, the divergence theorem tells us that the integral of that divergence is equal to the flux, right? And let's use this one because that's the one we were given up here. And just by comparing these two, this one must be equal to this one, right? And so we end up with basically just by a little symbol manipulation, we get that the volume of our region E can be computed as one third times the boundary integral, the, the flux integral of F dotted with dS, right? So that's the flux. And here it's very important that this vector field F is just the component wise XYZ.